Greetings to my unbelievable, crazy bonanza V family all over the planet. I have finally arrived in the continent of Africa. I'm sitting here right now in the beautiful presidential suite of the Sofitel Hotel in Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire. All right, this is a proud moment for me to come back to Africa because a lot of people don't know this. But one of my first international trips was to Africa when I proudly landed in Sudan, the land of V partner Adli Hassan. All right, that was my first understanding and exposure to the power of the people of the African continent. And I went back and I told Dato Sri Vijay, I told Japa that the future of QNET, the future of our company does not lie in any other continent, but Africa has the most amazing future. So guys, I'm finally here in Africa. This is a tribute video, this Wednesday message. I give it as a tribute to all the African warriors, all right, the men and women. Don't worry, I love all of you wherever around the world, but I haven't been to Africa for so freaking long. And the journey I took to come to Africa is a record that I'm holding as a V partner. I flew on a non-stop flight from Auckland, New Zealand, all the way to Dubai for 16 and a half hours. No other V partner has flown on a non-stop flight that long. And then I transited in Dubai and flew to her for another 10 hours to reach Abidjan. And right now, this is how I look. So when I tell you I'm the most gorgeous upline on the planet, I am living proof that after traveling for almost 24 hours, I still look gorgeous and sexy as your upline and chief. Guys, I spent a week in New Zealand with Dato Sri Vijay in the most beautiful place called Queenstown, learning from him of what his expectation is from all of us for 2018 and sitting there, all right, in the most beautiful place I've ever been in a long time, listening to him speak that this Wednesday message is a tribute to his concept, to his concept which is the foundation that we all stand on today. The Dato Sri Vijay in Japa in 1998 believed in one thing called teamwork. He believed in the concept that no individual can succeed unless they succeed as a team. That you alone mean nothing in this industry. But you and your team together, you can perform miracles that we have seen in Asia, Central Asia, all right, in GCC, in the Middle East, in, um, in Europe, okay, all over the world we have seen this, that not individuals rise to the top of entrepreneurship. It's teams. Because we are in the business of network marketing. We are not in the business of individual entrepreneurship. The network marketing does not reward selfishness, does not reward being isolated. Network marketing rewards people who embrace this concept of teamwork, who understands teamwork, who truly practices the philosophy of servant leadership. Now, when you ask Dato Sri Vijay and Japa, when they founded the company, they called it the V. All right? We are still called the V today. It doesn't stand for Vijay Ishwaran. It doesn't stand for vegetarianism. It doesn't stand for victory. The Dato Sri Vijay and Japa wanted to build a network marketing organization which core philosophy is teamwork. It's about helping others to help yourself. It's about bringing people closer together with a common goal and common vision. Now, you right now watching this video, you're either leading a team, belong to a team, just started your journey with a team that you don't even understand. All of this is fine. As long as you recognize one fact, that if you want to succeed in this business, that if you want to max out, which you must, if you want to be financially free and one day stand on the VCON stage and share your story as a V Council, AVP or V Partner, the only way to do that is to embrace the concept or philosophy of building a team. So if you look at the V, the V was not some marketing gimmick. It was based on the philosophy of nature, of the geese, flying south, 
All right, because the geese always migrate when where they are is too cold, they go to warmer place, warmer place, warmer place. And their migration is thousands of miles. And generally, the geese are the only flock of birds that fly always together. And if you look at any video, National Geographic, wherever, up in the sky, whether you live in Canada or wherever in the world, you will see these birds of the geese flying in a V formation. And the reason why they fly in the V formation is basically a miracle of Mother Nature. All right? That the V formation, which looks nice to your eyes, actually has a deeper and deeper meaning, which is the true foundation of how we built the V with Dato Sri Vijay and Japa, our uplines and founders. Now, if you look at the V formation, the first bird is called the lead bird. Now, this bird called the lead bird, which is some of you today starting your organization with 100 people, 1,000 people, and your downlines look at you as the lead bird. Now, the lead bird is the first bird flying in the formation. That means whatever challenges, whether it's rain, snow, all right, or any form of enemies or an aeroplane flying across, the first bird to face that challenge is the lead bird. That the lead bird takes the brunt of the challenge. It faces the most resistance of the wind. It gets the most injuries of its body because it's the first bird flying. Now, all the other birds in the V formation is following this lead bird on one basis that the lead bird knows where it's going. So if you are truly a leader today, or you want to be a leader, the first thing you need to decide, you must know where you are going. Because you are leading your pack. You are leading your flock. You are leading people who may not know as much as you. Your confidence in your direction, your confidence in your destination of your whole team cannot be 99%. It must be 100%. Now the lead bird it's all about confidence. If the lead bird turns left, the whole formation turns left. If the lead bird goes down a few hundred feet, the whole formation goes down without thinking, without analyzing. It's basically shut up, listen, and do. Now, I have followed the greatest lead bird, Dato Sri Vijay Ishwan. And in 19 years, I do not analyze what he says. I do not think too much of his instructions. I just shut up, listen, and do. And because of that, having a lead bird like Dato Sri Vijay, I'm sitting here today after 19 years. All right? Loyal, financially free, and enjoying every second of this journey. Now, the birds in the formation, all right, they are not quiet. If you see geese flying anywhere, they are the noisiest birds. They honk. All right? They make the loudest noise ever when they are flying. Almost to a point, it's a menace. And the reason is what? Not because they are birds and they're excited and they're making noise. It's a form of motivation that ultimately every team must exist with one simple philosophy to motivate each other, to inspire each other, to keep pushing each other and not promote negativity. Can you imagine one geese or one goose telling the other goose, I don't think we'll make it. Let's stop now doesn't exist in nature, all right? Because for them, if they don't migrate, they will die in the cold weather. And if you don't migrate to financial freedom, you will live, but you will live poor the rest of your life. So the second rule of building a team based on the formation of the geese is they motivate each other. No matter what happens, they are just honking with positivity and unbelievable energy. All right? Now, if the lead bird gets tired, too much challenges, and they cannot take it anymore, the lead bird will move at the back of the formation to gather back its strength, and another bird will go in front to replace the lead bird and face the challenges. And this is why every team needs a core leadership that is equally strong, that can face any situation together or as individuals, and be equally effective. That's why I always told you, if the leader is here, 
and the rest of the leaders are here and the distance is too much, the organization cannot survive. That is the best leader there is in network marketing. The next person must be here. So if this person needs to move back to recover, this person can take over and take lead of the organization. This is the foundation of what Dato Sri Vijay built. That he was the lead bird for the longest time here in Japa. Then they passed it to me, to Adli, to Arun, to Sati, to David, to Dave Joel today, Dave Vadwani, and all the other V partners in AVPs. That at any given time, we can take the lead and face the challenges for the founders if they need to recover and strengthen themselves. So right now, look at your organization. All right? Do you know your destination? Are you 100% confident of your destination? Is your organization overwhelmed with positivity and unbelievable energy or there is one negative bird that can destroy the whole flock by demotivating them? And then the beauty about Mother Nature, if one bird gets sick, if one bird gets shot, doesn't die yet, gets injured, and it goes to the ground, two birds from the formation will follow that bird and look after it, protect it from predators until it's recovered and bring them back into the formation. Now, this is something I have seen with my own eyes in network marketing. That not everyone is switched on all the time. Not everyone is superhuman. That everyone has a bad day. Everyone has a tough time. And during that time, the team must support, protect, rejuvenate, re-energize, realign that person and bring them back. The easier thing to do is let them die. But that's not what a team stands for. The Dato Sri Vijay has told me that, Patman, if a leader today slows down, it is our duty to bring them back, not to let them go. That no matter what happens in your team, if one member is weak, it is the responsibility of every other member of the team to get that person back into being strong. That ultimately, network marketing is a long journey. It is not a one-week journey. It is not a one-month journey. It's not a one-year journey. That I've been on this journey for 19 years. And in the 19 years, we have been hurt, we have been shot, we had our bad days, we had our worst days. But the reason why I'm still standing here today and sitting here as your upline and chief, because the rest of my team never let me go. They stood by my side during the darkest hours. The Dato Sri Vijay never gave up on me, even when I failed even when I didn't deliver. Because he knew that if I was strong once, I'll become strong again. And the same applies for you. If you're watching this video right now, and you are at your lowest point of your journey, that you are injured, and you have fallen out of the formation, look back at your team, humble yourself, and tell them, I want to come back. Please come and help me back into the formation. That the V today does not represent selling products, does not represent the comp plan, does not represent selling anything. It's about building teams. And ultimately, if you want to succeed in this business, the art of selling is not important. The art of understanding the business, yes, is partially important. But the most important lesson you must learn is how to build teams. And if you're going to build a team, you must build a team that's built to last. That is not a short-term project. That this is a lifelong journey. That you and your team members are going to be partners for the next 10, 20, 25 years. That your children are going to grow up together. And this means you stand by each other. You back each other up no matter what happens. That the ultimate goal is to get everyone in the flock to max out. The ultimate goal is to get everyone to see financial freedom. Is not about you alone. Your individual success means nothing. The collective success of your organization will reflect on your leadership. So right now, guys, you belong to the V. The fundamental foundation of our existence was based on the fact that the V is and will always be the greatest team the industry of network marketing has ever seen. Now focus the remaining days of 2017 and 2018. Every step you take, every training you do, every system you implement, 
every interaction with your team members, you want to build to last. Not for today, not for tomorrow, but for the next two generations, three generations, four generations. And the only foundation that will keep your organization strong that long is the concept of building a team. So once again, guys, 2017 is not over. Take your team to the right direction. And one goal, not individual success, but the success of everyone that follows you. That's your ultimate duty. That is what a team is about. This is your chief proudly saying, I love you, je t'aime. All right? From Cote d'Ivoire, Africa. Love you guys.